in 2023 alone, more than 560 gigawatts of new renewable capacity were added. And to put this into context, that is enough to cover Japan's entire annual energy needs. And investment in clean energy projects is nearing 2 trillion US dollars each year. That is double what is being spent on new oil, gas and coal supply combined. And China is leading the way in the shift, accounting for about 60% of the new renewable capacity added last year. And by the early 2030s, China's uh, solar power or solar PV generation is expected to surpass the overall total electricity demand from the United States. And we know that net zero is on top of the agenda for a lot of developed economies. But right now, it's very interesting to find out that electricity generation now, this year still relies heavily on coal, which is followed by natural gas and hydropower, with nuclear, wind and solar energy contributing similarly. But it's likely to change in 2035 if all of the government don't change their current policies right now. The order would shift. Solar will take the lead, followed by wind and coal. So we have uh, more electricity in our future, let's say, uh, but there's going to be more demand for it, isn't there, including uh, from air conditioning? Yeah, air conditioning is very interesting that here you don't typically find air conditioning in ordinary British households. It is commonly used in wealthier countries. If we look at the penetration rate of uh, air conditioning in ordinary households, the United States and Japan, they're on top of the list. About 90% of the households own air conditioning units. China is not on top of the list, but China has the largest number of air conditioning units because of the large population. And we are likely to see a surging air conditioning use which could have, according to the report, a significant and unpredictable impact on the world's electricity grids in the coming decade. So what are the reasons? The increase in incomes in developing economies and countries and higher temperatures because of climate change. That is why the majority of this growth from, uh, will be from emerging markets and developing economies. Cooling last year accounted for about 10% of the total electricity demand last year. By 2030, air conditioning could require an extra, this is the number, is staggering, 700 terawatt hours of electricity. To put this into context, that is enough to power around 63 million homes in the United States for a year. And apart from that, electric vehicles and artificial intelligence will also consume more electricity.